Hello guys and welcome back to the West Ham United FIFA 21 career mode. We are here looking at Arsenal on ultimate difficulty. Currently second in the league as you know. I've got a plan for our January transfer window to sign a specific player on a free contract that will help this team uh, in the future. That probable lineup is looking a little bit naughty I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Never heard of Renison. But I'm liking the fact that that free centre-back partnership is not the quickest. Maybe Saliba's the fastest. Who do you reckon? David Luiz or Saliba? I'd like to say it's Saliba, but... Gwendouzi and Willock. It's not a very strong Arsenal side. I'm not surprised that they're down in 10th, in all fairness. That is kind of appalling. Ah, oh, dearie me. Hopefully this time, I remember to record all the highlights for each of the games. That w <laughs> That is the dream. Um... Obviously, in the last episode, we suffered a major setback in terms of not being able to use our boy Felipe. But, we've got Saeed Ben Rama. I have changed his number now. I decided to do a little bit off camera. Uh, just sign it, so find some players. Obviously, development plans and stuff. It's all boring to watch. So I thought, I'll do that off camera. I'll make it a little bit nicer for everyone. I won't uh, bore you with all the details of, of why I put everyone in. Maybe you want to see that, maybe you don't. Who knows? Uh, all I know is that... We have form, now um, got league. all of that stuff. We're doing all that. Today, Everyone's improving a little TV. bit. So obviously certain players that aren't improving because they're not playing. It happens, it happens. Well, it but we're going to see you in the highlights for this game London against London Arsenal. The First highlight of this game is Gwendouzi absolutely running through our players and, and then striking one just off the post. It's a good good effort from Gwendouzi to be fair. Demiral couldn't get near it. Fabianski is a little bit slow getting down for that. Um... Luckily for him and for us, it goes wide. Then there's a chance here for Gabriel Martinelli, who chips it into a Bamiang, heads it onto the post, and, the and it just falls kindly for oh, the Gabonese striker. I had to think for his nation for a second there. But he hits it onto the post first time. A little bit unfortunate, but really unfortunate for us that it just comes back and it's the straighter Bamiang for an easy tapping, really. Well, this has proved to be the toughest game yet. That's just annoying because I can't get past their stupid five at the back. Format. Why is every team in the Premier League play five at the back now? It's really, really off putting. Especially when you consider the fact that oh, I can't break it down when they've got three slow centre backs, but they can easily just outbreak my slightly faster centre backs. Like, that doesn't really make a great deal of sense. And the goal they score is just awful. Like, it is a genuinely atrocious goal to concede. King right off the post, back to Aubameyang, yeah, because that needed to happen. The AI have this obsession with playing lob through balls. Like, it's ridiculous. They Every normal pass that, that you would think to play, the AI lob it. Because they, you can't win the fucking headers. It's just a little bit tedious, in all fairness. But hopefully in the second half, we should be able to come back to this. But it's just a bit annoying that we have to play against the stupidest formations in the world. Moving on to the second half highlights here, we have Fablo for now is finding a lovely pass through to the top scorer in the Premier League, Sebastian Haller. Look at the team movement here. And this first time pass from, oh, it's, it's glorious. Keeper had absolutely zero chance saving that. Once it's in about the 18, it's about 12 yards out, you're not going to save it when it's one on one like that. Just uh, a yeah, pretty good finish. Then we find ourselves here with Demiral getting forward for no real reason. Chips it into... Side Ben Rama, who takes a wonderful touch to get it away from. I think it's David Luiz he takes it away from. I know it's uh, Martinelli. Uh, Martinelli? Uh, Guendouzi gets it away from. Great touch and a composed finish into the bottom right hand corner. And he's really started to benefit from starting a lot of games. We then had a corner with Jared Bowen facing about 19 minutes left, and Sebastian Haller just heads it wide again. He can tell that he's the threat that we're looking for in the box, but. Just not able to direct it on target for himself. Later in the game, we had some substitutes linking up. Lanzini played it through to Mikel Antonio. And Antonio gets his first goal. I think that's his first goal since the start of the season against Brighton. It's a great finish, to be fair to Antonio, on his left foot. Maybe he's making a case that we should be starting him a little bit more. But as an impact sub, he's absolutely brilliant. We can't ask for much more than that. And a second half turnaround has seen us go 3 1 up. Well, 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 that second half was a whole lot better, um, basically, uh, ultimate is a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be, but it's still, it's very challenging to break down teams, though, but once, 
I don't know why I'm playing so well if I'm just good at the game or if it's just ultimate's not that hard, not that difficult this year. I'm going to assume it's like the latter, but I refuse to put fucking competitor mode on. Refuse. It, it was a nightmare to play against at the best of times. Um, yeah, we actually played really, really well in that, in that second half. We fought our way back into it and pretty much just played it a little bit better than, than Arsenal did. Their only shot on target was them scoring, so... Basically, we are massive, so... Uh, I'm just the beast of the game. Sevi got a man in the match, though, was he? Uh, he got a goal. Didn't get an assist, but got a goal. Yeah, Demiral getting an assist is kind of weird, but... Uh, we'll rock with it, we'll rock with it. Um, so, yeah, that's a great start to the game I really have, is that it's not... Is it Hi, still winnable games? And I don't want to... Uh, I know it sounds really, really weird, but I don't want to win every game. I do kind of want to lose a few. If that makes sense, drop points in games, like draw games, I'd have been happy drawing this. Um, it's the same shit every single time with these. We, we deserved our goals, yes. That, that that'll be all. Them. We'll just say that, and that'll be how we end that conversation with the news reporter. See, we're back on top now, and I feel <laughs> just not, it's not, it's not right, is it? We shouldn't be top. Uh... I'm not going to question it. We're doing really, really well. Maybe if I'd have played the whole season on Ultimate. Who knows? It might have been different. Wow, that game's come really quickly. And I'm going to sim it probably because it is only Crystal Palace. Yeah, we've got Chelsea afterwards. I'm going to sim that. Uh... Oh, my manager of things not going to be very good though, is it? Um, youth, youth scouts will have a quick gander because there could be some good players in here potentially. No, not in the Wales one. That's like the first time he's not giving me someone that's absolutely amazing. Um, basically, I'm only looking for like the high echelon players. So like the high 60, low 70 overall. Like put, uh, minimum overall. Minimum? Minimum overall. Um, and then the like 70 to 90 potential. Stuff like okay, that. We'll take that's what we're now. looking for. He's our player right now. He signed a contract. I literally did the contracts off camera. We're going to need everyone, yep. We'll be in a good mood. Yeah, we're West Ham, we're always in a good mood. Positivity Thank is you. the motto of the club. Uh, we all wish. Um, oh, Pablo's gone up to an 81 now. Love that. Look at that. The, te the team's climbing and overall. We're, actually, we're, we're sky high in morale. Uh, and now we're, They've got Gary Cahill playing left back. What is life? If we lose, I'm going to be fuming. <laughs> oh, I called it, didn't I? I had to say something, didn't I? I mean, it's it's better than not winning every game. I think that's the first loss we've actually been given this season in the league. Oh, I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well. <laughs> I suppose it needed to happen, didn't it? It had to come at some stage. We couldn't go the whole season without losing. Liverpool look like going to do that, but they're fourth. I mean, like, what's the point? Oh, we've got Chelsea and then Liverpool. What is this game? Oh, dearie me. And we're into December, so... We're actually flying through this series. We're flying through this season. My, might I just say. Let us just do a bit of training. The sharpness. I think I don't know what the sharpness actually does, but it, make, it makes them just improve a little bit better if they're in good, good spirits and that. that. They've actually given Ronaldo the top not that is incredible. Who will be his 2020s player of the year? It should be Lewandowski in real life. I think it is Lewandowski in real life, but how am I supposed to know that? Oh look, another press conference. Incredible. Okay, welcome. Um, do we have? This is an excellent squad. Yes, it is. Uh, we'll play the game, not the occasion. Yeah, that always seems to work. Were, boys are working hard, yeah. There we That's go. We'll we'll do that and then we'll just uh we'll leave it like that. I uh, did some scouting as well, just to uh find some players that we could enjoy using just a little bit. Who is no one's tired, everyone is in tip top shape for this London derby. It's two London derbies in this game really. Oh that is who's their left mid? Why is Loftus cheat captain? I mean, surely Chelsea have a better left midfielder, don't they? 
Like, it's a good squad, don't get me wrong. Like, Boateng's in there. It's a decent side. Loftus Cheek, I'd probably say, is a weird one to have as captain, but he probably is the most experienced one there. So, at least it's not five at the back. At least that'll be slightly better, but I'm not looking forward to Timo Werner running in behind Demiral and Issa Diop. That's not going to be fun. That's not going to be pleasant for me. Oh, well. We shall have to deal with that. Um... I mean, realistically, if we can beat Man United, we can beat Arsenal, we can beat... We can probably beat Chelsea, couldn't we? Did it twice last year, could probably do it this year. Who knows? I think... Is this at the... Oh, it's at the bridge, isn't it? Ah, we're screwed then. But, we've got our magical little Spanish midfielder, Pablo Fornals, who's in great form, to be fair to him. Um, got Declan. Got, got the squad. I think all we're really missing is, a, is like a world-class goalkeeper, and then we'll be set. Although we have won most of the games we've played this year. But, we're at the bridge. I'll look at Declan, captain United, at the bridge. We'll probably be captain of Chelsea in a few years, but we move. We digress, we digress. I really hope that's not the case. But, we have more pressing matters at hand. I'll feed the game. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the highlights for this one against Chelsea. To start our highlights off here, we have Ziyech on the ball. Thought he was going to shoot. Plays it to uh, Kai Havertz. And, I mean, I've got to say, Lucas Fabianski has got to be better there. It is the near post. He's probably hit with a little bit, but he's so slow to dive. And he's got all of that side covered anyway. Just really slow to putting his arms out for some reason. And we go a goal behind early on. Then we get a ball here with Sujek. We're trying to find some space. Haller gets it. And it's a good save by Eduard Mendy. And that's a great chance for us. We really should be putting that away. You'd expect Sebastian to put it away, but no. Straight at the keeper. Probably could have picked either side of the goal when we would have scored. And then right on the stroke of half-time, we get danced around by that number eight that I can't pronounce his name. He chips it into Kai Havertz. And yeah, there's just not a lot I can do. Don't know who's trying to mark him there. I think that's Ryan Fredericks. He just leaves him completely unmarked. And then Fabianski again. Just, he doesn't have a chance with that one, really. But it's Kai Havertz once again. Uh, I hope no one's like it's like an images that precede unfortunate events me going oh yeah we beat United we beat Arsenal we can beat anyone surely we can beat Chelsea and then go and see them down in the first half to just really poor defend him I mean they, they work the goals very well and to, in all fairness to us we have grown into the game we've had chances Mendy has been a literal god in that for them for like the two or so chances we've actually created Oh, I've had three, but I'm fairly certain Mendy has saved all three of them. Um, <laughs> it's just, I mean, they've only had three shots, but they've just been so much quicker on the ball. Kai Havertz is, an, is a monster. Like, he's so unbelievable cutting on his left foot from that right-hand side. Um, it's just not fair. <laughs> but, I will just, uh, we'll just keep trying in the second half. I mean, what? At the, at the end of the day, we've got nothing more to lose other than goal difference. So, hopefully we can try and pull ourselves back into this one. First sight of the second half is us. Which are playing a brew ball. Suchek finds Sebastian Haller. And this time he's able to find the back of the net and claw one goal back for us at the bridge. Oh, it's a great finish, to be fair to him. It's a great turn and he just runs past. No stopping him. Absolutely no chance for uh, Mendy in goal there. And then a lob through ball to Hakim Ziyech. Oh, Keeper doesn't come for it because he can't. And then it's just played into the middle for Werner to have an easy tap in realistically. It's a lovely ball. I don't know who's lost him. It's Demiral who's just lost him. And then Issa Diop just leaves at Timo Werner to try and get the ball. And it's just a shambles of defending really. And then right in the 90th minute, a lob through ball to Kante. He finds a lob through ball to Ziyech. <laughs> I bring... Fabianski out to try and to try and come and claim the ball, but because the through ball is so accurate on this game, he's decided to use his two-star weak foot to just lob it over him. If I tried that, I'd end up going over the bar. But yeah, four-one, very late on, no chance for us to come back into this one now. Bringing Lanzini on has cost me two goals. Like literally, has cost me two. Has cost me two pits of possession where I've conceded from shitey lob through balls if I see another fucking lob through ball in this game I'm going to lose it like they are just too too frequent it's unbelievable like they're just lob through ball it to then lob through ball it to score like, it's just I got that's the edge goal I got lob through balled to 
to someone to lob through ball to Ziyech, who then chipped my keeper. Like, what is the point of that? Like, you can't stop that. I'd love to say Chelsea weren't that much better. Like, they had a lot more of the ball, but, like, the chances I was trying to create, my players just weren't doing anything I was trying to fucking tell them to do. Oh, it's just annoying that that has to be the fucking result we get. And the thing is, like, there's not a lot I could have done about it because Chelsea are just ridiculous on every bit of the pitch. Like, Tamori's too quick. <laughs> Tamori's rapid. Chilwell's rapid. James is rapid. Kante's always incredible. Pulisic, rapid. K Werner, rapid. Havertz, rapid. It's just ridiculous at times. Ah. Uh, oh, well. That's the first time we've been properly at properly dismantled by the by the thing about that result is the fact that we've now got to go and play Just Liverpool who are arguably better which is uh, scary isn't it um we lacked a bit of self-belief we shouldn't have but times where you look might get back into it yeah oh a bet better team on the day 100 percent yeah she's danger yeah He's an excellent player, yep. Yeah. We'll just go with that. Thank you for your time. We'll, we'll say that just makes... We'll big Chelsea up because they absolutely battered us in that game. Ah, uh, now we've fallen behind in the title race. Not that I ever thought we were going to be in a title race. Um, still looking for goalkeepers. Still looking for goalkeepers, lads. <laughs> oh, dear. We've got Liverpool after this. Oh, I can't be bothered. The thing is, when we play Liverpool, we're just going to get absolutely smacked. And I'm fully prepared for it. To be fair, I was prepared to get smacked by Man United and Arsenal. I was very surprised that we were able to win those games. Um, getting smacked by uh, by Chelsea was was something I came to expect. Uh, purely on the basis that I know that Chelsea have got a great side. And that they probably would smack us up in real life this season. Although, got a good side in real life. Maybe a couple of additions more would have been really out in the open. Um and we could probably try and put a bit of a challenge in for him. Oh, dearie me, I'm just... 4-1. 4-1. And they didn't even start Pulisic. That's how much of a piss take that was. They didn't even start him. Thank you all for joining us. We'll start taking questions now. We won't get carried away. Yeah, because, you know, we can go in games like that and we can lose 4-1. I don't even see us getting a goal against Liverpool. At our best, will be anybody. Yeah. That's At our best, when you've on a you're on a good bit of form. All right, Lanzini was kind of piping up to me after that, uh, before that game, going, "Oh, I should start more." And then look at it. I give him, I give him game time off the bench. He he does well against uh, against Arsenal, and absolutely bottles it against Chelsea. That is a ridiculous team. That is a full strength Liverpool side. Oh, dear me, I'm not looking forward to this one either. That's going to be really, really unfriendly to play. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't feel like I have much of a chance, but if I can get anything out of this game, I'll take it. Because at the end of the day, we could we could end up having an absolute stonker against Liverpool. I don't see it happening, but it could happen. You never know. I'm just, oh, I'm not in the mood. Oh, that 4-1 has really, really upset me. Uh, I mean, that is the first time I've been well and truly absolutely smacked by the AI. We, we were slapped around for, for a good 90 minutes there. They scored 11. Oh, no, they've only conceded 11. That is, that is impressive for a team, in all fairness. But, that uh, was this third game of the episode. Yeah, we'll 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 Hello, see you in the highlights for this third one. This the First goal here it comes in the 26th minute. I say goal. Uh, I may have spoiled it a little bit. Thomas Suchek getting his first goal since he opened the scoring in the Brighton game, first game of the season. It's a lovely bit of play from Sebastian Hall to find him. Lovely bit of dribbling control, and then Suchek just on his left foot smashes it past Allison, making it one nil to us. Then we get the ball out here with Ryan Fredericks. You see that Tallers lurking in the box, and he just heads it. Heads it down into the bottom corner and makes it 2 0 to us. Really against the runner play. Sadio Mane, it's a mismatch in the box. Sebastian Haller doing what you'd expect him to do and just finding the, finding the header, finding the goal, putting us 2 0 up against 
the best team in the country, you'd like to say. I'm not going to lie to you. We have been on the, we have been ropes throughout that first half, and somehow we're two 0 up. <laughs> if you're going into the Liverpool half, uh, dressing room at the end of half, at the end of the first half, here, you're fuming because you've gone two 0 down despite having all the ball. Like we've had three shots, <laughs> and Liverpool have like hit the post just then. Right at the end of the half, they've had uh, Fabianski has been immense. They had a. BS penalty that Salah missed. But like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, I just want to have a look at the match facts. The thing is, it says they've only had four shots. It feels like they've had about 12. Yeah, they've had 60% of the ball. That's when you know that you're riding your luck. Um, Let me just go and prove it to you because Fabianski's been mental in this first. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> He's played an 8.4. He's made five saves. Oh my god, we are completely riding our luck in this game. I would not be surprised if Liverpool come back into this. I would not be at all. Both my centre halves are on yellows as well, that's when you know it's a bit rapey. But, if we can keep it up, then maybe we'll just do the impossible. Moving on to our second half highlights here. Firmino gets it, does a really good dribbling. Really, really good on the balls. Uh, uh, Firmino, just absolutely ridiculous. Runs past everyone, finds Mane. And there's no chance for Fabianski of that one. Just fires it past him and makes it 2-1. Pulls Liverpool back into the game like they should be. Then here we give the ball away a little bit. Firmino will find... Oh, uh, not Sebastian Haller. We'll find Gini Wijnaldum. He takes a shot. It's a great save from Fabianski. There's not much more he can do about it. Saves it. Just has to fall straight back to Wijnaldum. Gives him a pretty... I would say a deserved equaliser, but the way they've got it is pretty easy. Then Declan Rice finds his... Finds his... Finds his striker... Took me a while to get my words out of my mouth there. But finds Haller. Just runs through completely unmarked by the defenders. And then Sebastian Haller. Allison moves himself to try and cover it. But Sebastian Haller smashes it in for his 19th goal of the season. And might just have won us this game. We had none of the ball in that second half. Liverpool complete ran me ragged. Alright, they scored some pretty awful goals. I mean... I feel like the only goal I can be a little bit disappointed about is, is the equaliser from Wijnaldum because it just dropped straight to him after Fabianski made a ridiculous uh, another ridiculous like they had double my shots <laughs> and almost double the almost double the uh, possession oh, that's just stupid uh, if they'd have had double possession I'm just, just shut up I'm they had, they had way more on the ball than we did that is just Unbelievable how we've come away over to with a with a win. I am really not surprised that uh, Fabianski played a 9.1. The man made 12 saves. He literally kept me in that game. Like that was ridiculous. He got man the match, didn't he? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say it's not deserved because it really is. Like Haller got two goals and an assist, but <laughs> 12 saves. <laughs> Word. Oh, smash and grab, smash and grab. Absolutely. What a, it's a Christmas miracle, even though it's the 12th of December. Really weird issue trying to film those highlights where it just it would right not just show me the highlights. The it would just show the pitch. <laughs> and then it finally sorted itself, so I was actually able to do it. I'm really... I was about to, like, stop it and go straight forward to, like, the thing, but I checked it again, and it was... It was like that, but... We... Absolutely got away with one in this game. Um... Like, we should have lost. That's how good Liverpool were. Uh, we battled as a team. Yeah, that works. We'll get that one. No further questions. But, oh my word, did we get away with that. And we're still second. We, is, is that the first team that's beaten Liverpool this year in the career mode? Yeah, we gave them their first L of the season. Whilst trying to maintain a decent level of actually playing the game. That is mental how we've how we've managed to do that. There we go. I'm proud of you, Manuel. Even though you cost me a game against against Chelsea, probably could have got back into that one if you weren't such a dickhead. But we have to move on from that. <laughs> we've what a way to bounce back from losing 4-1, eh? Beating uh, probably the top team in the, in the Premier League with quite a convincing display. Realistic. Oh, I don't. It's not convincing in the slightest. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We absolutely. Did not deserve to beat Liverpool. Um, 
I mean, a point I would have been happy with going into that first, uh, the first game, like, going into that game, uh, I'd have been way, way happier, uh, way happy taking a point. But I suppose a win will do. Um, it's not every day you beat Liverpool in this career mode. Um, it's just mental, isn't it? I cannot believe we've gotten away with that. But the thing is, I the only way I can make it hard for myself now is to put uh, competitor mode on. But I feel like the game is difficult enough as it is anyway. Especially considering we we got spanked by Chelsea. We got away with one against Liverpool. I mean, Arsenal, we pretty much got away. We got a little bit away with it. So, it's one of those where you got to look at it and go, is, is it worth bumping it up? Or are we just going to get handed uh, our arse on the silver platter every time now? Um, because realistically, we weren't very good in the last two games. And we come away with three points out of six. When realistically, we should have only come up about... <laughs> should have only come up with about zero, maybe. Probably from this, episode, uh, from this episode's episodes alone. Should have had about a point or three, maybe. A point or two. Um... Mainly because of that Palace game, but we lost about we lost to them as well, which is kind of weird. But risk of losing five players. I am in the works on doing Fabianski's contract, but he was a little bit of an asshole about it. So I'm gonna probably try and do that off camera. Uh, try and sort his contract situation out. Yeah, this the team's growing. We're playing really. Well. Suchek's an 84 overall now. Mental. Ridiculous. I'm going to play Leeds. I'm going to quick sim it. They're not playing Rodrigo, which is quite a uh, shocking choice. Did we win? Yeah, Bowen and Fournau's getting goals. That's what we love to see. Two back-to-back -back wins. That is absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, this series could be going... It could be going a lot worse, realistically. I don't get why. We're, I don't get how we're second. Oh, no, we've got City next. No! We've got three home games on the bounce. What the fuck is that about? Home, home, home. And then a cup game against... Jesus Christ. I'm not I'm not looking forward to, to some of these. But, yeah. Um, next episode will definitely be a tougher one. City away is going to be difficult. Liverpool away is going to be difficult as well. Ah, oh, dearie me. But, I think that will conclude this episode realistically. Um, let's just deal with some of these. Keep working and you get like Mark, mate. You're not gonna play very often. And Mazwalk, who's done his stuff. So yeah, we're uh, working our way, aren't we, to uh, towards a decent series, a decent season. In all fairness, for West, for West Ham, it's not a bad season at all. Like, to be honest, I'd have, I'd have taken like sixth come the start of the season. Uh, <laughs> but because I think those like first few games on on legendary did help mainly due to the fact that they weren't very they weren't much better than us um so or the, the game wasn't very difficult on legendary it was still difficult obviously that four will draw right at the start was because of competitor mode I probably would have beaten brighton if it wasn't four competitor mode but oh well uh if you have enjoyed this episode please drop it a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, make sure to turn on the notification bell just so you never miss a video of mine. I will 